Hi, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we've got the Scuba Pro Mantis M2 dive computer. A nice, tough, watch size dive computer that uses human factor diving to use your heart rate and your skin temperature to adjust your decompression algorithm uh, so it's tailored to exactly how hard you're working. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so let's have a look and see what you actually get inside the box. So we just take the, uh, the sleeve off. So first of all, it comes in a hard shell case, which protects it very nicely. Inside the box, you have the computer itself, you have the wireless air transmitter, and you have the front half of the, um, of the heart rate monitor. In the top, if I take the heart rate monitor out, take that out, you've got the elasticated uh, back to your heart rate monitor, you have an extension strap for thicker um, wetsuits and dry suits. You have a, uh, a screen protector just to put on the front of the screen, just to uh, act as a scratch guard. A manual for your transmitter, just how that works and how to connect it and pair it to your computer. Uh, the computer manual itself, so have a quick read through that just so that you know how to navigate and how the computer itself works. And you get a copy of Scuba Pro's LogTrack software. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the computer itself. So the dive computer itself has some nice styling to it. It's a nice chunky dive computer. Uh, it feels really strong in the hand. It's got a decent weight to it as well, so it feels really nice. Uh, the buttons are magnetic reed, so, um, so these, there's no perforation or, uh, or holes going into the main case. Um, so it's virtually flood proof through the, um, uh, through the buttons. Uh, the underside, again, nice chunky underside. Um, and the strap itself is quite a chunky strap, so it's quite thick. Uh, it feels very comfortable, it's nice and ergonomically shaped around your, uh, around your wrist and it's very secure with the, uh, with the buckle. The computer itself is very easy to, uh, to navigate. You have a four button user interface, backlight as well. So you've got up, down to navigate up and down and you have select and escape to enter and come out of different modes. All the modes are shown all around the sides, <coughs> uh, around the bezel, so you know exactly which mode you're in, and that makes navigating a lot easier. It's, um, it's very, very intuitive. So right now it's just on time mode, so you can see how clear the digits are. Nice big digits, uh, and very, um, very easy to read. Navigating uh, is quite easy, so I'm just gonna go up once, and you can see how you've got three arrows pointing towards the stopwatch, so right now it's on stopwatch mode. Sport mode, you can use this, um, this computer above the water as much as you can use it under the water. So um, <clears throat> once it's set up, you can use it as a, uh, a stroke counter when you're, um, when you're swimming to calculate distance. Very handy tool um, when you're on the surface. So altitude, you can set your altitude. Your compass, uh, I'm just gonna go into this quickly. When you wanna go into something, you just press um, select. Comes up with bearing and you have a little arrow at the top that just points north but it tells you your current bearing. So nice, simple, easy to use. To come out of something, you just hold down the select button and it goes back to where you were. Up to plan, so this is planning your dives. Logbook, so very easy to, um, to bring back your most recent dive. Dive mode, so um, this isn't what the, uh, the screen will look at, it's um, when you're actually under the water, you've got your current time uh, in the middle, but in the middle that will be replaced by your no decompression limit and um, your current depth and um, auxiliary information is just going to be um, filled in. And then you have set, so setting the, um, the time and date and whatnot. So I'm gonna quickly go back to dive mode, press select, that um, brings you into dive settings. Uh, so right now it's asking for gas, so I'm just going to change it. Right now it's set to air at 21%. I'm just going to change that to nitrox, so another um, press of that select button. Press that up, I'm just going to go to a 30% mix. As you can see, your, uh, your MOD keeps changing, um, just to let you know your, um, your maximum depth. Select again, you can change your partial pressure if you want to. I'm going to leave it at 1.4. Press select again, and that's your, um, uh, your primary gas set. If you're diving on multiple stages, 
with multiple gases, you can set uh, extra gases. You've also got a closed circuit rebreather mode that you can use. And here you can set your, um, your tank reserve pressure. So when it's paired to the, uh, the wireless air transmitter, you can set a warning alarm so that when you get down to a certain pressure, the computer will let you know when you're down to that given pressure. And then pairing, so this is how you pair your wireless air transmitter, connect it to your regulators, and then pressurize the, um, uh, your regulators on a cylinder, and then going through the, uh, the pairing process. And then it goes back to gas. To come out of it, again, hold down the select button, you can hold it down again and that'll go back to time. So it's very, very simple, very easy to use, very tough, rugged little dive computer. So that was the Scuba Pro Mantis M2, a nice, tough, compact little dive computer that uses your biometrics to adjust your decompression algorithm. It's got everything from closed circuit rebreather mode to um, surface swimming mode. So a fantastic dive computer for an all round sportsman. If you missed my latest episode of Scuba Tube, you can click on this little link up there to watch that. And as always, safe diving.